in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use those formula fields to make sure that you'll always have the correct total amounts in your forms. So we'll use the example of this loan application form. Loan applicants can request a loan, can borrow an amount of up to $250,000. And so we want to make sure that they don't request more than that. The challenge that we have here is that they need to break down. They need to tell us how they're going to spend those $250,000. And there's different fields for this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fields. So they need to tell us out of the $250,000 they might want to borrow and they can borrow less, but they can't borrow more. How are they going to spend that amount? So we need to make sure that all the numbers that they add in those fields doesn't go over 250K. And before I show you how to do just this in the DocuSign template, if you're new to the channel, my name is Sofian Saudi and I help financial advisors implement automated paperwork workflows. If you're interested in getting some help to set this up in your organization, you can find the link in the description down below to book a strategy call with me. And if you're just starting with DocuSign and want some tips on how to make sure that you're using it efficiently, you can download my DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet using the link down below as well. It'll help you get started with fields, recipients, templates, and all that stuff. Anyway, so now let's jump on the computer and see how you can validate all those fields to ensure they don't add up to more than 250K and also stop signers from submitting the envelope in case the rule I've just talked about isn't followed. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go to each of your fields where you want your signers to enter something and you want to label them. Uh, you want to give them a meaningful label. So the way you do this is you just click on the field and then in the data label, you get rid of everything that's in there by default and you just give it a meaningful name. The reason for this is because you're gonna to need to refer to those data labels in the future and so if they don't make sense to you, you won't be able to create your formula. And so once you've labeled all your fields, what you wanna do is add formula field and place it here because we want a calculated total to display at the bottom, obviously. We can change the label of that formula field to calculated total. And now I'm gonna set up the formula to total all of these fields. So you click on your formula field and do setup. And here you just basically want to add all your fields. So the first one is called payroll amount. Then you want to go plus office rent. And I'm going to do this for all the fields. So I've now referenced all the fields in my formula. I'm going to click on save. Okay, so now the formula is just basically adding all of these fields and displaying the total, but it's not stopping signers from submitting the envelope. What we want to do is we want to add a text field in let's just say red and make it super scary and bright red, maybe in 14 and all in capitals and maybe even bold. Total must not exceed $250,000. So what we are going to do is we want this particular field to display if the total is greater than $250,000. So I'm gonna add another formula field I want to hide that formula, so I'm going to make it white. And then I'm going to set up my formula field and I'm going to make a statement. And so the statement is simply that the calculated total is greater than 250,000. And then I'm going to remove the symbols and click on save. So this is just a statement. It means that I'm telling DocuSign something and DocuSign will calculate it and say whether I'm lying or whether I'm not lying. And so if I'm lying, then it's going to print a zero here. And if I'm not lying, if my formula is true, it's going to print a number one. So what I'm going to say now is I'm going to make this text field error message conditional to whether I'm lying or not. So if the formula field is greater than 250,000, DocuSign will return a one. And so I'm going to say that if this formula field displays a one, then I want this field to come up. So that's almost there. So now DocuSign will calculate the total and so tell us that the total equals X amount of dollars. Then this formula field is going to tell us whether or not the number contained here is greater to $250,000. And if this is true, it will display a one. If it's not true, it will display a zero. And then now there's a condition saying that this error message should display if this is true or if this is false. The last thing I want to do is I want to add a validation to my error message so that people will never be able to click on finish. So how does that work? Well, you just go to validation, click on custom. Here you enter whatever you want. 
and basically that's it that's the end of the thing so how is that actually working the validation means that if signers want to be able to click on finish the envelope and submit the envelope then they're going to have to guess that this is what they need to enter in this text field which they will never be able to do so now let's save and close and test that what i've set up is actually working okay so i'm now looking at the envelope from the signer's perspective so i'm going to add the amounts and see what happens if the number exceeds two hundred and fifty thousand dollars i'm going to say that i want a hundred thousand on this and then i want one hundred thousand there and then I want 50,000 here. So now the error message isn't displaying, so that's fine. But if I add one dollar here, my error message should kick in. And so here it's telling me that invalid data in the field. If I click on finish, and so from the signer's perspective, what's happening is it DocuSign is telling me that all the fields that are required haven't been completed and that's normal, so haven't completed these ones. But if I had, I wouldn't be able to click on finish anyways because this field here contains a validation, which is a rule telling DocuSign what should actually go in the field. But since I don't know what the validation rule is as a signer, I'll never be able to guess and I will never be able to submit the envelope. The only way for me to submit the envelope is to fix this and enter something that falls within the range that we've set up in our validation. And this is how you use formula fields to do stuff that are absolutely amazing and are gonna save you a ton of time if you need to collect values and data from your signers and not just signatures. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.